Linda Barch from the Bruce Company is here taking your calls at 270-9933. Now is the time to plant bulbs. That's right. If you want some of these beautiful flowers next spring, this is a good time. Or actually, maybe not. I was talking to some folks at our store. They were picking up bulbs today. And so I was getting everybody's recommendations on how to keep animals away. Because when you do plant these bulbs, that nice, loose soil is attractive to a variety of animals. So there are some deterrents. And I did bring some examples of, of that along. Also, one that people are pretty familiar with is this Repelzol. That's a, a combination of organic materials that don't smell very good or don't taste good mm -hmm. when the animals get to it. But another one is something called their it's actual pieces of oyster shell that have been broken up and you incorporate that with the bulbs or uh, in the soil on top of it and then when they start to dig they don't like to run into that sharp material. Mm. I have not tried this myself, but other people have and sworn if you have by chickens, it. it's good food for them. It's good food, for, that's right, that's why <laughs> hence the chicken. All right, let's go to the phones. We'll start with Linda in Barneville. Hi, Linda. Hi, how are you today? Good, what's your question? Uh, I had strawberries in a raised bed that was maybe three to four feet high. I dug them out before they got, got cold because I was afraid I couldn't keep them from freezing in it. Uh -huh. I've got them in a pot now and I don't know what to do with them. Well, the best way for strawberries to survive is actually to be planted in the ground and have them rooted. So um, what, what you'll want to do is actually get them, probably sink that pot in the ground for, at the very least or just take it out of the pot and put it in the ground and then you'll want to mulch that and once the, the ground actually freezes you can cover it over with a light layer of hay and that's that's how you get them to survive and then in the spring when things start to start to warm up you have to pull that material off so back into the ground back into the ground would be the best way all right another linda this one from oregon hi linda hi hi which question um what do you need to do for the mums for the winter Okay, now there are different kinds of mums, Linda. There are ones like this mum that I brought on today. That is uh, something that is from a greenhouse. These big, huge, gorgeous flowers, but it is not one that is going to survive in, in the ground over winter. But there are hardy mums, and those particular plants, they should have, if you planted them, uh, what you'll see is that there will be a little rosette of leaves coming at the base of it. And I usually leave the flowering stems on it just to try to collect snow because it is still a perennial that you're hoping to have over winter. But there are some mums that will not over winter, and then hardy mums will. And those big, gigantic ones you see in the stores now, those are, those are pretty a, much just seasonal. A lot of them are not going to, our season isn't long enough for them to con, come into flower. Usually the hardy mums are a little bit smaller flower. All right, Sharon in Madison. Hi, Sharon. Hello. Hi. Hi what's your question? Uh, my question is I have a clematis, and it's the variety that you cut down in the fall. Okay. And um, I need to know if I should plant that or, or dig it up now and, and replant it or do that in the spring. I think I would do that early spring because if you reduce the root system at this time, although if you, you don't have a choice, this week is going to be wonderful for gardening because it's going to be warm enough and, and yet you, you know, before the, everything gets really wet and so on. You could do it this fall, but then mulch it with a wood mulch. Otherwise, move it in the spring before it leaves out. That would be probably the best option. All right. Betty in Beloit. Hi, Betty. Hi. Hi. My question is, um, is this a good time to uh, trim evergreens? Okay. What kind of evergreens are you talking about, Betty? Um, I'm talking about, like, I'm, I'm not sure of the name of them, but it's... Um, they shape themselves, and um, you don't have to um, do any pruning on them. Mm -hmm. Those are probably boxwood, and I would not recommend that you prune those back very hard because exposing the, the new foliage on any of the evergreens, especially boxwood, and it's, it needs that to protect us going through the winter. And we're so dry that if you, you planted anything new this year, make sure that you're watering them. We have cooler weather and we haven't had rain in a while. The, the soil is pretty dry. So make sure that your evergreens go into the winter well hydrated. So Remember winter a few yeah. years ago? Mm -hmm. So prune in the spring. Prune in the spring. All right, Marlis in Madison. Hi, Marlis. Hi, uh, I have some ever-bearing raspberries. And I was wondering when was the best time to trim them down and how far. Okay, ever bearing raspberries. Um, if if they're the type that I'm thinking of, you can prune them in the fall, especially if you have any concerns about disease. And then the new growth that comes will still f um, fruit for you next year, but later. If you if it's the type where you want fruit early and later, then just um, prune all of the the canes that bore fruit this year, and then the, the canes that you're leaving behind will. 
fruit earlier, and then you'll have fruit later on also. All right, well, winter's coming, but not this week. Yes, it is. Yes, you're right. As not you this say, week. it's a great week to get out in the garden mm -hmm. and get stuff done. And another recommendation was to wait till the ground froze before you plant your bulbs. So not yet. Do it just or cover it with a board and then remove that. Yeah, there, there were lots of suggestions. Great <laughs> ideas. All right, we're out of time. If you're on the line, stay there. Linda will talk to you off the air. We'll see you next time, and we'll be right back with a final check of your forecast.